Hey, it's Joel, the 3D printing nerd, and I 3D printed the Elder Wand from Harry Potter, and I'm gonna tell you all about it. Are you ready? Go. <laughs> wow, welcome back. I'm checking my, my hair on the monitor, and I, I think it's time. My hair can only contain so much awesome. I, I, I need a haircut. So look, here's the Elder Wand from from Harry Potter and it printed really well. I printed this on the Zortrax M200 that I'm currently in the process of reviewing and the Zortrax did an amazing job. And here's why I find it interesting. It's because of how I had to lay the pieces on the build plate in order for it to print. Do you wanna see how I did it? Let me take you to the Zortrax software called Z Suite. Well, before I take you into the Zortrax software, I wanted to show you the item on Thingiverse. And here it is, it's the Elder Wand by Jake Reeves, published back October of 2015. It's a great model. Well, let's let's load it up into the Zortrax software. Here we go, we're in Z Suite right now. I'm gonna hit the plus sign, and I'm gonna select the base and the tip of the model. And Z Suite is gonna load it in, and it's gonna place both pieces of the model onto the print bed. I'm gonna select this in the view so I can rotate it. And then under tools, I'm gonna pick that one that allows me to move things individually. Well, shoot, they're both they're both red. Let's see. Okay, that one I can make blue. This one doesn't go blue, and that red means it doesn't fit on the build plate. And it looks like our only solution is to go diagonal. So in order to do that, we go down here to the tools, the rotation, and is it X? I to remember, let's see, rotate, rotate. Oh, I have to pick a model first. I always forget that. Let's see, I wanna rotate it on the Z, right? Yes, yes, on the Z. It's just easier to type it in. Let's go 45. <laughs> and I'm gonna pick this one, and I'm gonna go 45. Okay, there we go. Back here are the tools, I'm gonna to pick that one. And now I can move these around and move them into place. Yeah, we can put them really close, I guess. I don't think that'd be a problem. Yeah, we could, just like that. I'm gonna go back to the view and I'm gonna rotate this around. Well, that doesn't look bad. That doesn't look bad at all. The Zortrax software will be able to put supports under this and make it look, make it look good. There we go. Look at those dimples. Those are great dimples. Well, now I'm gonna hit the print button and that's gonna bring up our settings. It's gonna use the Zoltrat filament at 0.19 millimeter layer heights, three top, three bottom layers. It's gonna have a single shell and I'm using the medium infill. Support will be added at the 20, ang 20 degree angle mark. The rest of it is good. Now I'm gonna hit this prepare to print button, but I need to warn you, the Z Suite software is not the fastest slicing software on this planet by any means. So, once I hit this button, I'm going to bring over the Google stopwatch and we'll see just how long this takes. Here we go, prepare to print. Come on, 99, 900, done, stop. 25 minutes and 32 seconds. 25 minutes and 32 seconds to slice that model in Z Suite. Ugh, it's unbearable. Well, now we're in Z Suite and look at that. Here's the model. Z Suite takes care of the raft, which is required on the Zortrax printers because of the build plate. And it takes care of the support and it takes care of the model and slices it accordingly. And it looks like it looks like it did a good job. It's tricky, but but it did a good job. All right, from there I just save it out to the SD card and bring it over to the printer. Of course, I've done this already, and I filmed the time lapse. So if you're ready, time lapse. <laughs> Well, 
Well, that time lapse was pretty cool, and that build plate's really interesting with the perforated holes. When you pull the model off, it looks, it looks just like this. I think you can see that in the monitor. Here, let me get you a close-up view. Here's a little closer view. I'm using my iPhone to get a little bit closer on the model. You can see that the dimples turned out really well. You can see how the supports are, are laid out. With the Zortrax, you always need that raft because of the perforated holes on the bottom. In fact, you can, you can see how they kind of they kind of stick up right there, just like that. I think it turned out really well. Let's find out how it looks where it printed the supports. Before I take this all apart, first of all, patron Brandon Terry had some questions about the print speed, the size, the settings, and the supports. Everything in the Zortrax software is fairly automated, so the speed was set to fast, because the other option is normal. Uh, as far as settings go, I set it to the filament Z Ultrat, and I, I chose uh, medium infill. I, I'm trying to remember. I did it in the video. As far as the size goes, it looks like, including the raft, it is nine and a half inches in this direction. And including the raft, it's about two and a half inches in that direction. Lastly, Brandon asked if there are any problems, and no, none, literally none. I hit print, I came back, and it looked like this. Another patron, Brandon T, no relation to the Brandon Terry that was before, asked about the supports and how easy they were to, to pull apart from the model. And I can show you that right here. There's that piece. It just came off the supports. It looks really good. Let's get this other one off. It's a little bit bigger. Might be harder. And there we go. Now that piece is off. Yes, Brandon, the supports, very easy to pull away from the model and very effective in used as, uh, as a support mechanism for printing the model. Here's a closer look at the supports after I pulled the wand pieces off of it. Now that I have both pieces, this is inserted here and glued together, and then hold it with your hands for a few minutes and you end up with this wand. Yeah, it was the old switcheroo. I don't care. That was fun. The wand turned out really good, and I can certainly cast spells. Look at that. I mean, I'm destroying things left and right. Talented wizard. This was a good print, and I hope I showed you some of the cool qualities of the Zortrax printer as far as printing things like this. As far as next steps for this wand, I think I really want to paint it, and I really want to make it look cool. I'm going to reach out to Bill Doran, you may know him as Punish Props here on YouTube. Bill Dorn is a fantastic model maker and model builder, and he's also local to me. And I really think he'd be up for the challenge of helping me paint this. He's known as Chinbeard on Twitter. So send him a tweet, tell him I sent you his way. Or better yet, find him here on YouTube and subscribe to his channel. You can find the channel right over there. Well, that was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed printing that that wand, the Elder Wand from Harry Potter. It's a cool wand. I'm going to print the base, and I'm going to talk to Bill, and I'm going to try to paint that wand so it looks authentic and, and really, really cool. You may have noticed also that I had some interactions with my patrons, and that's what happens. I, I release things early to my patrons and ask for comments, and then I try to incorporate that into my videos. So, so Brandon and Brandon, thank you very much for your input. I really appreciate it. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Throw me a dollar via patreon.com if you want. If you don't, that's okay. I will always do this for free as long as I can. All I ask is a social high five. And speaking of high fives, as always, high five.